Welcome to SS2K channel ladies and gentlemen. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button in hit all so that you will be updated regarding the latest updates. The content of this video is taken from available sources such as but not limited to the internet and the author of this video does not represent any person or organization which will be presented. This is presented for educational purposes only and yours truly do not claim the ownership of the uh, content. The uh, content of this video presentation ladies and gentlemen is the 14th or panglabing apat po na part ng subject na forensic uh, ballistics. No? At uh, ituloy na natin yung pong ating pinag-uusapan sa uh, panglabing tatlong video presentation. Question number one. It is known as the forward end, forward end of the barrel. Letter uh, A, close end, bravo, bridge end, charlie, muzzle end, and delta is bridge block. So ano nga ba yung pinakadulong-dulo ng barrel? Yung pong tinatawag na muzzle end. Okay, yung dulo sa harapan. Yung pong dulo naman ng barrel sa likod, yung po yung tinatawag na Bridge end, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? The uh, rearward end of the barrel is called bridge end, while the forward end is called the muzzle end. No? Yung pong butas, yung po yung tinatawag na bore of the firearm. Okay? Yan. Next question. This causes stripping marks on the fired bullet. This causes stripping marks on the fired bullets. Letter A, barrel, bravo, lens, charlie, grooves, delta, bridge plug. Okay, so ano nga ba yung pong uukit doon po sa bullet pagka ito po ay dumaan doon po sa barrel, yan po ay walang iba kundi yung pong bravo, yung pong lens. Okay, kaya nga sabi ko kanina doon po sa pang labing tatlong video presentation yung pong uh, landmarks yung po yung depressed portion doon po sa bullet kasi nga kapag ka dumaan po yung uh, tingga doon po sa bore ng firearm no? uh, yung pong nakaumbok doon which is the land ay maikakaskas doon po sa tingga no? dahil uh, palagi po na mas malaki Lagi yung pong uh, tingga, mas malaki onte kaysa doon sa bore of the firearm. Kasi yung pong bore or caliber of firearm is measured uh, uh, from the two opposite lands. Okay? For example po, no? yung pong caliber .45 na barrel, yung pong bala noon ay mas malaki konte Kung baga .46. Okay? Para sakto ko sakto, pagka dumaan po doon sa barrel, Then, magagasgasan po nung pong tinatawag nating lands. At yun nga po yung landmark, yung pong depressed portion doon sa bullet. Okay, raised portion sa bullet, groove marks. Okay po? Yan. Next question. These are marks found on the central area of the base of a central fire cartridge and on the rim of a rim fire. So, these are marks found on the central area of the base of the center fire cartridge and on the rim of the rim fire cartridge. Ibig sabihin, ito yung naimamarka kapag ka po pumapalo po yung firing pin. No? Letter A, ejector, B, extractor, charlie firing pin, and delta bridge block. Siyempre, yung pong sagot dyan ay yung pong firing pin impression marks. Okay? Saan po makikita? Doon po sa... Uh, center of center fire cartridge at saka rim ng rim fire cartridge located at the base of the cartridge case syempre no yung pong uh, ejector port marks ay makikita po sa uh, pwit din or sa base ng basyo at yung po namang extractor mark ay makikita po sa extracting groove no at saka yung pong mukha ng bridge block yung po yung gagasgas doon po sa uh, kabuuan ng base ng pong uh, uh, basyo na kung tawagin po ay bridge face markings. Okay? 
Kaya nga yung subject of examination po sa basyo ay yung pong kanyang base, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Next question. When a shot is fired from an automatic pistol by a criminal, when a shot is fired from an automatic pistol by a criminal, what will happen? Letter A, the empty shell remains within the chamber. Bravo, the empty shell in most cases will be found at the uh, scene of firing. Charlie, the shell is rarely found at the crime scene. And delta, the shell is usually disposed by the perpetrator. At ang sagot po dito ay bravo, no? Yan, kapag ka, uh, yung pong kriminal ay nagpaputok gamit po ang automatic pistol, no? Then definitely yung pong basyo ay usual na naiiwan sa crime scene. Okay? Yan. Kaya nga kung makikita natin sa mga report, no? Uh, sa television, makikita natin na nire-report nila kung ilang empty shells, fired shells yung pong naiiwan sa crime scene. Okay? Kapag ka naman po, yan po ay uh, ay uh, uh, revolver, no? Uh, usually, naiiwan po doon sa kanyang uh, cylinder yung pong empty uh, shells. Okay? Yan, maliban ko pagka uh, ito po ay nag-reload pa. Yan. Next question. On February 14, 1929, a crime occurred in Chicago that changed the course of firearms identification. No, six men were murdered in a cold uh, garage. No, and cold uh, blood in the garage. This event called by the press as letter A, Saint Valentine's Day massacre. Bravo, Al Capone's Fury, Fury. Uh, Charlie, Holiday's Massacre, and Delta, none of the above. At ang sagot po dyan ay yung pong St. Valentine's Day Massacre which was solved by Colonel Calvin Goddard. Okay, yung St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Okay, uh, next question. In uh, ballistics, the throwing of empty cartridge case from the receiver is called as letter A, firing, uh, bravo, ejecting, charlie, unlocking, or delta, extracting. At ang sagot po dito ay tinatawag pong uh, ejecting, throwing, to throw, eject. Okay, pagka withdrawing of the cartridge that is extracting, okay? So, simulan po natin, no? Uh, pagka sinabi pong firing, ladies and gentlemen, that involves the uh, pulling of the trigger, okay? Then, the hammer will strike the firing pin. The firing pin will strike the uh, primer. The primer will create a uh, small flame. The small flame will pass through the flash hole. The, then, the gunpowder will be burned, of course, and it will create expansive force of gases. Okay, and up to the time that uh, it will push the bullet forward, it will push the uh, cartridge case backward. Okay, yung po yung firing. Then, ejecting uh, is the term that is being used when the ejector throws the empty shell. Okay, throw, no? Unlocking, it, it takes place when bolt uh, lug is unseated from the uh, recess of the receiver. Okay, kabalik taran ng locking, no? Uh, bolt action type then you have extracting that is a pulling out of empty shells from the chamber or yung pong tinatawag natin na withdrawal of the uh, uh, withdrawal of the empty shells from the uh, chamber at yung pong gumagawa niya na part ng firearm ay yung pong extractor okay next question this occurs when the bolt carrier push the top round of the cartridge inside the chamber from the magazine. So, galing sa magazine, no? Tutulak niya, paabante, no? Doon sa chamber, anong tawag? Letter A, cocking. B, feeding. Uh, Charlie, chambering. And Delta is locking. At ang tawag po dito ay yung pong tinatawag pong feeding. Okay? Yon. So, uh, feeding, yeah? mula doon po sa magazine, tutulak niya onte. Pero pagpasok na doon po sa chamber at uh, ipipwesto nung pong bolt carrier, yung pong tingga doon sa chamber, no? 
Yun po yung tinatawag ng chambering, no? Cocking occurs when bolt push the hammer, no, in a uh, cock position. A uh, chambering uh, occurs when the bolt carrier push the round into the chamber para maipwesto na. Pero pagkagaling ito sa magazine, no, tutulak niya kaunti para nga pumasok doon sa chamber, no, yun po ay tinatawag pong feeding. Nan. Pagka ipipwesto na sa chamber, no, para mag-lock na, ready for firing, chambering na po yan. Then, locking occurs when the bolt lag fully seated on the locking recess of the uh, receiver. Okay? Next question. At the crime scene, a bullet was discovered. As an investigator, you should mark uh, your initials on the bullet or shell that you have recovered. No? Uh, example, no? Uh, Yung marka po is SBE-1, okay? 12-06-14. The numeral succeeding the letters represent the letter A, the date of recovery, uh, Bravo, uh, name of the investigator, Charlie, family name of the investigator, and Delta, the identity of piece of evidence. So, ano nga ba yung pong numeral uh, letter, no? Uh, which is next to the uh, uh, the numeral letter succeeding the letters okay so SBE yung pong dash 1 yun po yun no so yun po yung identity ng evidence yung pong SBE mga kapatid no so yun po yung delta no uh, yung pong uh, SBE yung po yung initials ng investigator that is Sami Bingwasan Istoke Okay, dash 1, yung po yung first evidence na na-recover. Then, yung 1206-14, yung po yung date of recovery. So, ganun po yung pagmarka. No? Yan, pagka pangalawa na na-discover na, na mo, di 2. Okay, SBE-2, okay, 12-06-14. So, kung uh, ngayon, no, dahil ngayon po yung February 19, so that should be uh, 02-19-21 na. So, SBE-1, yan, ganon. Okay, so take note, yung pong first, yung pong letters, ay yung pong inyong uh, initials, no? yung susunod po ay yung pong identity of piece of evidence, then next po ay date. Saan po imamarka yan? Doon po sa bullet, shells, or yung pong firearms no? na na-recover mula sa crime scene. Okay. Then, uh, we have uh, the last question for the subject forensic ballistics. No? Ayan. In uh, the examination and collecting uh, of standard, there are uh, three ammunitions that is needed to be uh, fired. No? Pagka kayo po ay uh, magtitest fire ng either bullet or shell. Tandaan nyo ito, no? Pagka sa pagtitest fire, kung shell ang na-recover sa crime scene as evidence, shell din yung pong kukolektahin nyo na standard. Kapag ka bullet yung nakuha sa crime scene, ha, eh di syempre, bullet din ang kukolektahin. Okay? Huwag mong ikukumpara yung bullet doon sa shell. Nakuha po, no? So, uh, in examination and collecting a standard, three ammunition is needed. What is the use of the second ammunition? So, tatlo pong ammunition ang detest fire. Okay? Whether yung pong uh, detest fire po ay para makakolekta ng standard bullet or standard shell. Okay? And, yung pong pangalawa, anong purpose nun? Bakit tatlo? Okay? So, yung pangalawa, ang purpose nun is for confirmation. Okay? Yung una, okay, first bullet na ititest fire or first uh, ammunition, no? Either bullet or yung shell po ang kukolektahin mo, uh, ay for examination. Ano ba yung uh, for examination? Okay, sa examination, uh, it will determine na uh, the uh, individual characteristics or the, the examiner will determine whether the individual characteristics present in the uh, uh, evidence uh, bullet or evidence shell is also present in the test fired bullet or test fired shell. Yung po yung for examination. Okay? Pangalawa, you know, yung nakita mo kaya doon po sa first na standard 
ay ganun din yung makikita mo sa pangalawang standard. Pagka nakita mo rin yon doon sa pangalawa, then confirm nga na uh, yun po ay naiputok sa iisa na baril lamang. Okay, one and single firearm only. And yung pong pangatlo, yung po ay para sa conclusion mo, no? For deciding point without ayota of doubt na sinasabi. Okay? So, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong walang kawang panonood at pakikinig dito po sa ating video presentation mga kapangarap. At sana po ay meron kayong natutunan mula dito. Thank you very much and God bless you all.